guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's episode of Fossil Friday we're going to be doing a little bit of everything. So I thought I'd start off with one apologising for not posting last week. My schedule's been a little bit hectic here so unfortunately I had to miss Fossil Friday which broke my heart but I thought I would just come at you today with kind of a big video of everything. And um, secondly a lot of you have been asking about what I've been doing so far on my masters and you're interested in kind of what I'm studying so far so I thought I'd start off with a little bit of a chatty video about what I've been up to. So, uh, so so far on my masters it's kind of been a little bit crazy. We basically do a module a week so it's really full on, it's really interesting and I literally feel like this masters was crafted just for me because no joke, all these modules are so in like sync with all of my interests, so it's just amazing. But um, we started off doing micropaleontology, so for those of you who don't know, these are teeny tiny fossils that you can't see with your eyes, so you need the use of technology or microscopes to actually look at them, but they're just as diverse as macro fossils, but they're just on a miniature scale. So if I can get permission and if I can find the time, I'll go into my university labs and I'll try and film some content looking at micro fossils because I find them fascinating and I just love, I mean it would be much better if I collected micro fossils because they would take up much less space. It would be like a shoebox rather than a garage. But um, yeah, there's just something about macro fossils that I can't get enough of. But um, yeah, no, I'll see if I can get some micro paleontology content for you guys if you would like it. Um, so that's been really interesting. And then I also did a module in phylogenetics and I've never studied phylogenetics before. And I already have done the exam, so I should be able to tell you what it is, but it's the um, study of like evolutionary relationships between different species and taxa. So really interesting. Um, so that was quite cool to learn something new. And then we're now doing a subject called Geobiosphere, which is looking at the Cambrian explosion and the mass extinction events. So um, it's just really interesting and it really ties in all of my hobbies and interests, so it's pretty cool. And next week I start my first geoconservation module, which is my master's is in geoconservation, so I'm really excited for it to get kind of in the specialised and um, just see if it kind of can link in my M gems with my other interests and see if it can kind of just be the bridge between everything but we'll see I'm sure I'll be I'm interested in so many aspects of geology and paleontology it's just kind of see what happens really so I'm loving my course so far yeah it's just been kind of a crazy whirlwind of events since I've moved here you know it's moving to another country a country that doesn't speak English and then I've had such a full-on schedule but everything is really interesting but it's just like non-stop you know some days I've had 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. of non-stop lectures and it's just like wow like it's been such a like change in kind of routine and it's just been amazing so I feel very fortunate that I can still experience all this even during Covid but unfortunately currently our lectures have now gone online but we can still do our lab work in person so we're kind of having like a bit of a like 50-50 kind of experience but uh, hopefully it will just be temporary until the virus kind of settles but um, it's still amazing that you know all the lecturers are adjusting and they're able to do zoom and suddenly technology has become like the most valuable piece of equipment to so many different like industries like I find it amazing so yeah it's taking a lot of adjusting but not just for me for everyone because of covid and then also because of we come from all over the world so no kind of amazing though. But that's a little bit of an update about my masters for those of you who are interested but uh, comment down below any more questions you might have. I can do a proper video all about what I've been up to so far if you have a lot of questions but uh, I just thought I would answer a few that I've been getting. But now for the rest of the video I'm going to be prepping the fossil I found at Cablonaire a few weeks ago. Actually before I do that I know you guys always appreciate it when I show you my new plants and uh, my parents don't appreciate it but I did buy a new plant so technically I did something bad because I'm not I'm in France and uh, yeah it's gotta come home with me somehow and that means my dad's car and there's a lack of space currently anyway so um, yeah but I thought one more won't hurt and this will be my last one till Christmas like that's a promise it is a promise but how could I leave this plant look at the stem like isn't that amazing and the leaves I'm gonna try and show you this without tipping all the soil out like they're gorgeous <laughs> I just saw it like I literally I went to a plant market and uh, it was down in the corner on its own there was no more like it and it just I wasn't gonna buy a plant like I'd had a look around and then I saw this one and I was like 
oh my god, I need it. So it was a need, not a want, but it's a, uh, I've named it Zabrina and uh, it's a very uh, original name because she is a Zabrina plant. I feel like it's when kids name their teddy bear Teddy, um, but it's just, you know, we've got the best imaginations apparently. But look at that, like, isn't it so unusual? I, I'm obsessed with it, like I love it so much. So if you guys are plant experts, let me know how to best take care of it because I really don't want to kill this one. I really don't. So I'm trying my best, but you know. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get on with prepping this fossil. So it should be a really easy prep. I think I'm just going to need to put a nail to the middle a little bit just to like flick it out and then maybe give it a brush and we should be good to go, she hopes. So um, let's give it a go. I just did a really quick prep job on it because I've got to go out tonight but that's what it turned out like so I don't actually think the center is all there I think it like chops off slightly but I might give it another go at a later date but I think that looks 10 times better and I also noticed like I might be able to pop it out of the rock and the other side be really lovely maybe it's an option and I also there's loads of ammonites in this block like there's one in here so you can see the edge bit there and then you can see there's a lovely crack going through it as well so that's just waiting to fracture on me but um i could there's quite a lot in this one little block so if i did choose to remove the nice one on the front i could maybe find the others within it but i really like it just being on a boulder so i think it's turned out lovely and it can go with its friend up here but there is no space so i'm gonna put it we can put it there for now you guys can see it on the corner of my fridge <laughs> That is the problem with fossil hunting. It's always a struggle trying to figure out where to put them. But anyway, that's Fossil Friday for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. I'll link my Instagram down below if you'd like to check that out. I also have a Twitter, but I can't promise I'm gonna be very active on it, but I'm gonna try. I kind of wanted to branch out onto it, and I think for geology, it's quite a good platform. So I'll link that down below as well if you'd like to follow me on there. But um. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment below any questions you might have and uh, hopefully I'll see you next week.